Hello and welcome back to video two of this topic, topic nine, databases, where we're looking at data types and primary keys. This is for the IGCSE and all level computer science course. So as I mentioned, data types, we'll be looking at text, alphanumeric, characters, Boolean, integers, real, and date time data types, and also the, the identification, purpose, and the use of primary keys. So let's have a little look at these in more detail. So alphanumeric, um, obviously a number of characters, a short text or, or long text, okay, sentences, um, a phrase, um, a word, um, all can be um, stored under text alphanumeric. Um, a character though is a single character, i.e. A, B, C, a letter of the alphabet, okay. Boolean is either true or false, one or zero, yes or no, basically opposites, okay. Um, usually yeses and nos. Um, integer is a whole number, a fixed formatted number with no decimal places. Okay, whereas a real is an actual decimal number with um, decimal places. And then of course date and time is obvious, it's the date depending on where you are in the world of format, whether it's day, month, year or month, day, year. And of course the time which would be either 12 or 24 hour clock. So I've, I've got a little database or, or a little part of the database here for a, for a doctor and his surgery and we've got two of his patients we have um, Philip Moroni the date of administration um, was obviously there we go the 10th of June um, the doctor's name the height of the patient the weight the whether he's got allergies and the blood type so let's take this first part um, Philip Moroni this would be text alphanumeric so either characters letters or, or numbers in there or a combination of both administration data this is obviously a date field date and time the doctor again we've gone back to um, text alphanumeric now the real number here is because we've got a decimal okay for the height and for the weight we've rounded the um, kilograms up into whole numbers therefore these are integers whether the patient have got, has got allergies or not um, yes, they have. No, they haven't. It can't be both. It's one or the other. And then a single character, types of blood for this database. I know there's more different types, but I was just sort of emphasizing we've got an A and an O there for, for different types. And there, that's a character field. Okay. Um, if I add another field to the database, i.e. another column, I'm going to add one at the very beginning. And this is going to be what we call my primary key. Now we do this because we might have more than one Philip Moroni registered at the doctor's. So what we would do is assign this person a primary key. So this is unique to the database. There is only one Philip Moroni with this particular key. Okay. So for each record within the table, um, whether it's about a person in this case, or a single item or an event, it is important to be able to uniquely identify this person or whatever it is. So especially for example here if we've got a very large database and we need to find something quickly i.e if we've got um, a database full of car parts and somebody rings up for a specific item if we know the part number the unique number then we can easily find it within the database okay for this reason we add another field to the database yes I just mentioned that that uniquely identifies the item in the row. The field is called a primary key and all the numbers for each different people yeah, would be in this field, okay, this column. The field must contain data values that are never repeated in the table, okay? So it's the usually auto-generated. We start with one and then every time we add another one, it auto-generates another number, okay? A unique ID number. I just want to finish off, it's a short video, I just want to finish off with some of the words we should have learnt so far. For example, data, this is the information within the database. The table is a structure in which the data is stored, the structure of the database. Remember, we're talking a single table, or another name is a flat file, single ta table database. We've got a record within the table, which is the, the one that goes horizontally, the row. And then we've got the field, which is the different things that are running down in each column. The primary key we've just mentioned is a unique identifier for each of the records. Index, a list of values or items. 
We've got query, which we're going to come on to in video three, which is basically searching the database. And in our case, we're going to use something called SQL. We've got the range, which is basically the start and the end of the database and everything in between. Um, presence to check whether data, specific data, has been included. Um, and then we've got validation and verification, which we mentioned in the previous video. This is checking that the correct type of data is entered for validation and then verification. This checks that the data is actually the data you want. Okay, so there we go, validation and verification. That is it for this video, very, very short. Um, video three will be more about queries and SQL. But until next time, thank you very much indeed for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you next time. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.